And welcome to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio, Death World. All right. Well, I need some more space. And so I cut a whole bunch of trees off camera. You're welcome. And uh, kind of mapping out how far I can expand here. Um, I this was This was my old wall right here. And this is the more space. So I can go out only so far. If I get too close to that nest over here, they will aggro, and I don't want them to aggro just yet. I want to wait until I have a little bit of surprise for them over here. And these will eventually get in range and start killing them. So, gotta be careful just like that. And let's do some repairs and build some wall. Just like that. Now we are semi secure. Those will run out of of uh, ammo very quickly. As you can see, it's already happening. So I want to get the ammo delivered as fast as possible. And then maybe turn these around. That way I don't have to bust the ammo around. There we go. There we go. A little bit more space to deal with here. I want to start on science. That'll be a little tough with all these enemy bases around. So if I want to put this one here, I couldn't. So I put that there instead. This is going to be a very active corner over here, I imagine. Gun, sniper, gun. Sniper, gun, and there we go. Got a little bit more defensive area over here. Don't want to go too crazy with it. Um, do I have any lights on me? Lights are good. Biters, do you know what light is? Senor Biters? some power over here, get some lights going. Get my inserter chain going here. There we go. I do have autofill, so I could just spam turrets in there and hope for the best, but I don't want to really do that until I, uh, until I have the piercing rounds. Because the, even, even doing that, they would burn through so much ammo if I didn't have the piercing rounds. I mean, they already burn through a lot of ammo. But this is going to be a very active corner over here. I'm going to get a lot of little giblets out of that. So I can clear this out. All these that are out already. I just have this one left, which is out. 
And this one is going to be out very shortly. Two, one, and zero. And move this one back. There, we've got lots more space to deal with now. So let's look at science. I'm thinking since we have so many trees up here and I don't really have the way of, of managing that, I kind of want to do the science below. In, in almost every other game that I've ever made or ever played, I've always done science above uh, the bus. So this time I kind of want to go below. We have way more space down here. Nice and defended. I have some more turrets I could stick in there. Sniper. So that's sniper, this is gun. Okay, gun, sniper, gun, sniper. Kind of want to make it up to the top here if I can. Almost. Very, very close. I'll just do these two as guns. Like that. Oh, one, one off. It's like that. And put a light up here. Like that. This is the only little corner right here that I don't have. I, I do want to square this off. I mean, there are a lot of biters up here, but I would like to come up and square it off with this water right here. There are just too many enemies right there right now, and I really want to keep this area defended. So science, I mean, the red science is going to be easy. I mean, that, that is a really straightforward process, so I'm not too worried about red science. We have all the ingredients already. Let's do six, six red science. It's just two ingredients. Like that. And belts. So this is just copper and iron gears, both of which we have on the bus. I usually have a separate copper or a iron gear assembly, but I don't really need one this time. So something like this. So this can be like iron gears and copper. It needs to come down right here. Do I have any undergrounds? I do. Oh, one off. Oh, it reaches. Awesome. And I can do, take this out, continue that, continue that. So this will merge the two into one belt since they're sharing. And splitters, I've got a, just one of those. Let's make another one. All right, copper and gears on their way. So how I want to do this, I want to come down here with it. And after the first three, I want to jog this out and put it on the inside. <clears throat> okay, need a whole bunch of inserters. I could be building fasts definitely possible but I don't think these crap yeah five seconds that's plenty of time there we go red science ready to go sort of ready to go I just need power
in light. There we go. Red science is ready. It should all be working. Good to go. Yeah, plenty of time to fill up the ingredients that it needs. This is still going crazy down here. Our ammo is doing okay. Looks like we're really using it on one side of the belt way more than the other side. I could supplement the outside of the belt like that. That would help since it looks like it's really used a lot most of the outside. All right. Red red is done. Uh, next step is green, which is two complex recipes, or s well, semi-complex, inserters and transport belts. So we don't have any of those on the bus. We do have gears and plates and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to need a lot of gears for these. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to supplement my gear production for all of these ingredients. <clears throat> so how I usually do this, how many of these can I build? Okay, so we have transport belt. Oh, I wanna go a couple more, live a little bit more of a space. So transport belt on this side, and this will be inserters. So this will be transport belt. This will be inserters. Inserters need gears, plates, and circuits. All of those are on the bus. So we have this is gears and plates. This is gears, plates, and circuits. And I'm a little close to my edge. I don't like building so close to the edge of the bus. Because this way I can, so if that's, let's say that's circuits. And this will be gears and plates. And this will be gears and plates. Well, I could route, could route them around. That is possible. So like, on belts. I made like 400 belts when I started this episode. So something like that and then circuits coming down. That will be an underground here. Uh, gears and plates can come in right next to them. So gears and then plates just come straight down. A couple splitters. Like that. I'm definitely going to need some more gear production. Speaking of gears and iron, I need some. And it looks like my iron is actually hurting. All right, now I need circuits. Which conveniently are right here. So I want to underground under this, all of these.
And the circuits come down, take that away, let them fly, and then put a splitter in there. All right, the basics are done. I want one, two, one, two. Just like that. Okay, those two are done. All right. So I've got six of these. Let's do eight, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And of course, I don't have any belt. Okay, since these are on two sides, I want to combine these up. Leave a little bit of gap. One, two, three. Leave a little bit of a gap for for an, another machine if I want it. And there we go. We have 5, 10, 15, 20. There we go. Set the recipe. Greens are ready to go. Except, of course, for supreme lack of gears. And power poles. There we go. Slap a light down here. Maybe another couple. Keep it well lit. And we have green production now. So let's go to Science Labs. Love and Long Reach mod. Loving it. So I want five more. So let's route these. I don't maybe want to keep this open just in case I want to add some more. So if I route these and I put them like right in here. Do I have room? I actually thinking about it now remember my old series where I had a gap of two because I needed an extra spot for three belts so one two because it's red, green, blue, purple, uh, and then dark blue. And then how oh, I want to do this. I don't want a whole line because I don't have I don't think I could fit. Ooh, I could. That would be a little tight, but it should work. Something like that using like long handed, something like this would grab from both of those. I 
Actually, that that doesn't really work with three. I'm not sure how I did it on the other one. I used chests, which is how that worked out like that. So I'm going to need actually a space in between all these. But that'll have to do it for this episode. And come back next episode where we actually start some major research. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.